Okay, so we are going to attempt to draft figure two in CLO. Um, by now, you already have your measurements. There is one thing I didn't mention, um, and that is once you have your armhole measurement, they want you to take the front and the back and add them together, and then divide that in half, and add a quarter inch for ease and record. So I did that. I Oh, that's not it. Uh, and I feel like I got kind of a funny number, so I moved it back to be close to 1 8 inch. So the measurement I'll be working with is 9 and 1 8. Um, so, so just to recap, um, my armhole measurement is going to be 9 and 1 8. My cap height is 3 and 3 fourths. Sleeve length is 20, and my biceps is 11 and 3 fourths. That's what I'll be using for this demonstration. Okay, so again, this is my first time doing this. I'm kind of looking at it. And I feel like in CLO, what we need to do is draw this shape as a pattern and then go in and add all the little dots and everything. After reviewing this, um, this is actually 100 symmetrical. So I feel like in CLO, you should really only just draw half of it and then mirror it out. Um, sleeves are not symmetrical. Sleeves are not cut on the fold. They are different shapes. The front has a different shape than the back. And when we go to figure three and draw in the curves, that's when we really identify the front versus the back. But for figure two, since we're using CLO, I think it might be easiest to just draft half of it and then open it up um, after. So what I did is I kind of marked these measurements. I drew on this and I was like, okay, A to B for me is gonna be 20 inches. So I should draw a 20 inch line. And then from B to O, is um, half of C to E. And I had figured out that C to E was supposed to be half my bicep. So I figured out for me, it was 5.8, so it's one half of, wait, so C to B, oh my gosh, what am I doing? C to E, where did it go? Yeah, one half of my bicep, my, my bicep measurement is C to E. So for me, it was 5.875, five and seven eighths from C to E. And then down here, it says B to O is two inches. From that so I got three and seven eight so I know this guy is 20 inches I know B to O is uh, 3.875 I don't know the O to E measurement so I'm kind of skipping that um, but I do know that A to E should be about nine and an eighth so I think I'm going to try to draw this I'm going to try to draw an angle that's nine and one eighth. I'm gonna go straight down for 20. I'm gonna scoot over to the left for three and seven eighths, and I'm just gonna connect it. Let's see if this works for me. It might be a total disaster. I don't really know. So, or maybe what I should do, yeah. You know what, let's do it. Another thing I could do is like draw a big rectangle and then add my bicep line, add my elbow. Um, and I guess the big rectangle would be the sleeve length of 20 inches by my bicep length. Maybe that's a better way to go. I don't know. Maybe I'll try both. Okay, so I'll start with the, the rectangle, I guess, because that does sound easier. I don't think I need to look at my avatar, so I'll just do 2D. Okay. Okay, so rectangle, here we are. All right, so if I click one time with my left mouse, I can say width, I want it to be 5.875, and then the height, I wanted it to be 20. Okay, um, maybe I should show my book while I'm doing this. Can I make you a little smaller guy? What do you think about that? Okay. Oh, what am I doing? I'm accidentally drawing stuff. It's mad at me. Okay. Um, here we go. Zoom in. Okay, so why don't I do my annotation again, right? Because everything gets so crazy here. Pattern annotation right here is going to be the letter A. Great. Um, okay, and then down here is B, so 2D, uh, B. Okay, um, great. So then I guess I could mark where C would be. So if I take this guy, I right click, and we offset as an internal line. This is supposed to be our cap length. Our cap height. So A to C is our cap height. So minus 3.75. Sure, that's going the right way. It looks good. OK. 
Okay, cool. So just to make our lives easier, why don't we annotate that? Throw down the letter C, because it's amazing how quick I will forget. Cool. Then we can also maybe get the D thing happening. So what do they want for D? Um, they want half of C to B, right? So one, C to D equals half of C to B. So I could add a little point right here. Click it right. Hold on, let me zoom in here. What's going on? Okay, did that work? And then now if I click you, yeah. Um, so I could do math and figure out half of 16 and a quarter, or I can right click and say split and just uniform split two segments. Okay. Oh, what did I do wrong? Let's try that again. Yeah, that looks good. It's 8.125. What's the problem with that? I don't know. I must have hit something weird on accident. Okay, so now that, let's get annotation out before things get too crazy. That you get to be letter D. Good for you. Okay, now they want D to D apostrophe mark, which apparently is three-fourths inch up. Okay, I don't know why. And then they want us to square lines from A. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, okay. Um, okay, so I guess we will put another little line right here. I'm going to right click. We want it, they said, 0.75 inches from D. Okay, and I guess now you are D apostrophe mark. So that's good and confusing. So let's do edit because I want to make you super close to here and then I will do another one that says D apostrophe mark cool. okay so square lines from A C D apostrophe mark and B so here's D apostrophe mark I'll just right click and we'll say add perpendicular internal line so our X is across perpendicular is opposite so I have to hit Y did it right, guys. Oh, but I don't see it anymore. So maybe I didn't do it right. Let me try it again. I thought it was Y. Y is up and down, right? Can I hit cancel? Sometimes I hit cancel. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to hit cancel on accident. I already have my squared off line for C. I have a squared off line for A. And even a squared off line down here for B. So I'm good. I did all those squared off lines. Okay. So now I guess I could draw... Um, an internal line for A to E, right? Am I skipping anything? Is that what's next? A to B, da 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 da. What am I doing here? Well, C to E is just we half of our biceps measurements. C to E. And half of our biceps, yeah, that's correct. So I think I just draw a line A to E, but they want A to E. Um, so place a ruler A and pivot until the measurement touches our bicep line. Oh, they want it to be our armhole measurement. So the armhole measurement we worked out was nine and one eighth. Okay, so I'm trying to take a line that's gonna be nine and one eighth. Maybe it's easiest to do this with an internal line. Starting at A and clicking, and I really want it to be nine and one eighth. Uh, not even close, it's like <laughs> six. Oh my gosh, that's way bad. Okay, oh, here we go. I almost had a nine. It's like nine if you come way out here. How funny. Hmm. Again, like I said, the book does have a much longer bicep than, I don't know, but I took my own bicep measurement. I don't really know what's going on. Okay, so anyways, nine and one eighth. Um, that's not quite it. 1.25 is nine and one eighth. Um, to the right. Okay. I'm just going to right click. It's supposed to be 9.125. Okay. Fine. 
Okay, so it looks like that's a pretty big difference. Um, so we marked, there's a mark there. Then C to E is one half of our bicep, which we have marked as well, because half of 11.75 is 5.875, and I believe this is 5.875. So yeah, so we did that, okay. Mark, compare the placement of the two marks and mark our biceps in between and label that E. Draw a line from A to E. Okay, so I guess our bicep is actually gonna be kind of in the middle here. So, which should I make it perfectly in the middle? I wonder how I should do that. Maybe if I take this guy and move it. There we go. And then what if I added a little uh, segment point here? Okay. And then now what if I take you and I just, instead of dividing it by two, I just split it. And I say uniform split. Cool. Okay. So now A actually, so this is going to be E. So let's get our notation. It's going to be mad at me. It's not going to let me do a notation right there it's outside of the pattern. So I'm just gonna have to remember that that's E. And I'm even gonna move this guy so that it's on E. Now they want this line split into four. Cool, so in the classroom we have to divide it by four, but in CLO we can do uniform split and we would like four segments. Yeah, okay, cool. So um, I guess what I could do is do my annotation just to make our life a little bit easier. So you are K. And you get to be H. You get to be, I'm doing a double click and it jumped for me, G. And E is over there. So we're just gonna have to remember that that guy's E. Okay, dun, 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 dun. what else do we have to do here? Everything's looking pretty good. C to E, we did that, we did our mark. C to F, what is C to, oh, C to F's just the other side. We're gonna flip that. B to O, let's do that. B to O is two inches less than C to E, so for me it's 3.875, so I'm just gonna add a little thing. Right click, ooh, that didn't work, let's try it again. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. Okay, it needs to be 3.875. And that's gonna be letter O. And they actually want us to draw a line, so I'll just bring this in. Oh, I have to delete point apparently. Why don't I just delete you? Cool. And then you know what? Let's annotate it. Okay. And go. Okay. Okay, cool. So I think that's good. The only thing that bugs me right now, I think what I want to do is maybe, hmm, I want the, this to be in the pattern. So what if I just scooted this guy out more? I don't know if that's a good thing or bad. No, it's not very good. So what I need to do is add, see now I can write E. Why don't I just annotate E while I have the chance? You are E and you are very important. Okay, so what my pattern is actually going to be, I'm gonna add, let's see here, a point right here. And then I'm gonna select that point and bring it to where E is. There we go. Yeah, and this is just random. I'm leaving this here just so I have extra space to draw my curves later, but this will actually be my underarm seam from O to E. So I think that's pretty good. Um, I actually think we're almost done with figure two. Now it's just a matter of um, flipping it out so if I hold all of this guy, okay, zoom in, hold shift, click, everybody's help. Uh, if I right click it, am I able, what am I able to do here? Oh yeah, 
No. Okay, so maybe what I have to do is delete some of those points. Mm, pattern. I'm going to click the point in the pattern. I'm going to delete it. I can leave the internal shape. That's fine. But I want to delete the point on the pattern. Because now when I click it, it's just one line. It's all broken up. So that way when I right click, I can unfold, which is what I want to do. Okay, cool. And then when I do that, if I'd like, I should probably annotate over here. Just so that I can follow along with the book a little bit better. If you guys don't think you need to annotate, I'm not going to hold it against you. Before this demo, I figured it's probably best. F, and then down here, I guess, is a P. Okay, cool. All right, well, I think that concludes figure two.